It's nothing like the courts, a bracket, and the month of March. Just feels right to be here. Welcome to Washington, D.C., a quadruple header of A-10 tournament basketball about to get set right now for the tip-off. Most improved player voted on by the coaches in the Atlantic 10. He's also the reigning Atlantic 10 player of the week. Paul, the only meeting this year, we saw Fordham with some lockdown D. George Mason didn't score the last five minutes, and the Rams got a three-point win. Well, Duro had that one knocked away by Kyle Rose, back up top to Cooper, now eight to shoot. Xavier Johnson all the way in, finger roll, and Ohams, who leads the A-10 in rebounding last month. Actually made two out of those three shots. He's in for the first time. So, Paul, I've got something I want you to watch here. Clearly, field goal percentage is going to be low in this game. Who controls the boards? If you do that, you get a chance to play whatever tempo you want. We're having a hard time getting it into Ohams. Good defense by Durrell, and the ball knocked away by Gaines. Devontae Gaines, second leading rebounder in the A-10. Shows there's more to his defensive game than just the boards. Yeah. And I love the concept, though, for the Rams. Go at Oduro. If he gets his second foul, he goes to the bench, and your job gets a lot easier. And I know that Ohams has some massive shot-blocking ability, but guess what? He's not out there right now. Go inside. Simbila, also 6'9", guards him. Kelly, deep three. He hit two of them in the win over George Mason last month. Has his first here today. Kind of symbolic of the afternoon he's had so far, Tim. He's one out of six. Oduro to Cooper, back to Oduro. Gains to Polite. Cooper with an open three. They keep firing at some point. And then now and then they'll go down. With seven. Simbi Law was in close, couldn't get it to go, goes to the ground, and turns it over. Sweep between the legs there by Johnson to Schwartz. Could have been a foul, but it'll take the two. Schwartz, who wears number 15, the top scorer for George Mason right now with seven. Only three seconds, wide open three. Oh That's how to finish the first half from distance for the Patriots to go up by three. Backs it in, plenty of time, 14 to shoot, up with the left hand, rebound to Gaines. Johnson, Oduro, Mason likes this matchup. Oh, he's looking to pass behind the back, and in. Oduro with an assist to Johnson for the first time. George Mason has a lead of double digits. They're only down by 11. Remember, this is not a high-octane offense. Charlton, good pass outside to Colon Navarro. There's a good start to the come. Oduro had A.J. Wilson and Javon Green and some veteran players. Now, all of a sudden, he's at the top of the scouting report. Big bucket. They need to find Kelly. Thankfully, they have Kelly right now. He has three threes. Fordham has now made four out of 15 shots in the second half. Full court press does not work games. Polite will leave guys wide open and another careless turnover. Zach Riley into the game, left hand and in. Count it. In the game for a few seconds, hits the two. They'll now have a chance to make it three. They're tough, they're physical, they're not real good on offense, but they stay in games. Oham strong take inside, and Fordham takes back the lead. First time they've led since it was 13 to 11. And they're working to get it inside to him as he's guarded by the shorter rows. Polite, and one. Just hit a three-pointer. Now have a chance to go to the line to make it a three again. 22-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Oham's in against... Oduro with four fouls, that's all he could do. And Ohams, now 18 points. Huge basket there to put the Rams up by three. The Rams came in winning four of their last six. And a victory here today will send them into the quarterfinals against top-seeded Davidson. Fordham at one point here in the second half, trailed by 11 points to George Mason. The offense came alive, 
And their leader, Chuba Oham, sixth year in the program, stepped up just like you would expect him to do. His 21st double-double of this season. His bottom line, 20 points and 16 rebounds.